Welcome back guys and gals. Today we'll be looking at another thing I didn't know about C-sharp, namely the go to statement. So let's do it. Okay, so if you're new to the go to statement in C-sharp, the good news is that we can't do stuff like this. We can't do go to a specific line number. So that's a blast from my Commodore 64 past. We can't do stuff like that. We have to basically go to a named label, but we can do labels. So if I go foo, I now have a label called foo and under foo will be fooing. So now we can say go to foo. So if we run this, we will basically end up in a infinite loop here. So we can also do stuff like Let's create another one called bar, another label. And let's say we're barring. And um, just to make it confusing, let's here, let's go to bar because the compiler has to go to the bar sometimes just as the rest of us, I guess. So let's debug this. So here's my foo. First line is executing and then we're going to bar. So we'll be skipping the next line, coming up to bar, barring, barring, going to foo, and back. So it gets like surprisingly confusing, surprisingly fast. So when would you use this? So I've seen this used in instead of like a break statement in a for each loop. So at some point, uh, quite a while ago, I saw the code something along the lines of this it was checking for something and instead of going break because the intention was to leave the loop uh, it was actually a go to statement so while that works, it's probably not the, the best thing to do and um, there is actually one other case uh, where this is kind of when you actually see this uh, and that would be in switch statements. So if I have a var i equals one, let's say, and I'll do a switch statement on that. So first thing to note here, it's a common belief that uh, C sharp, the switch statement, it, it's just like one specific there, there are no basically you can't do fall throughs but uh, you can do something like this so you can say case one case two case three and on case three we'll yeah we'll do any kind of statement there and i'll be breaking so this thing actually works so since i is one i will fall through to two two will fall through to three and we'll do our statement and then we'll break out of the switch. So what doesn't work is if we have something like this. Let's add case four here. So maybe I want to just remove the break here. I just want that thing, that, uh, that statement to fall through to number four. So the compiler is very explicit here. It says cannot control fall through from one case label, case three, to another. So this is a place where we could do something like, okay, for case four here, I'm going to create a new label. Let's call it four. And how, now we can say, instead of break here, we can say go to four. And the compiler is fine with that. And it's interesting to note that if you look at default here, and actually these cases as well, these are all labels. So if I didn't want to do named labels, I could actually say go to um, case three. That works just as well. And it's actually also okay to, to do something like go to default. So the default could have some statement as well. And here we could, oops, go to four, which means we can skip our break. So I'm not saying it makes much sense, but uh, I'm saying it's going to work. I is one, one is falling through to two, two is falling to, through to three. Uh, 
3 is doing its stuff, then going to the default, doing its defaults doing its stuff, go to 4 doing its stuff, then breaking out of the switch. Weirdness. Um, so, okay, so I hope some of you guys learned something new. And um, I'll catch you in a week with something else I didn't know about C-Sharp. See you guys.